Okay, in this video, I'm going to be looking at the different um, motions, um, equations of motions formulas, uh, which is S equals U T plus half A T squared, V equals U plus A T, and V squared equals U squared plus 2 A S. Now, I've done V equals U plus A T in my acceleration video and how to um, answer that um, in, in a exam style question. But in this video, I'm going to be looking at each example. So you get that same equation twice. Lucky you. Now let's have a look. The equation um, is basically simple. You can find different variables. Okay, so S is just displacement, U is initial velocity, T is time, A is acceleration, sometimes 9.8 meters per second per second, which is gravity, and V is final um, velocity, and then um, sometimes S is represented as R, okay, which is just displacement. Now let's have a look at this question. A car moving at 5.75 meters per second west hits a wall and stops at 0 0.015 seconds. Calculate the acceleration stop in the car. Now I've got the equation here, V equals U plus AT. Rearrange that equation to find A. Now you've got 5.75 minus zero divided by your time, which will be 383.33 meters per second per second against the motion to stop that car from moving. Okay, because obviously it's hit a wall. Okay, next question. Sydney Tower is 309 meters above street level. If an object fell from the tower, how long will it take to reach the ground? Now that's displacement. So S equals U plus half AT squared. Now we know displacement is 309. Initial velocity is zero because it was stationary on top of that tower. And now you know half times gravity, which is acceleration, 9.8. And the time is what we're trying to find. So you rearrange the equation to look like this. T equals the square root of 309 divided by half times gravity. And your time is 7.94 seconds. Now your final question is, the acceleration of a plane down a runway is 3 meters per second per second. Its takeoff speed is 65 meters per second. What length of the runway will it use? Now this is our third equation, v squared equals u squared plus 2ar, and r, like I just mentioned at the beginning of this video, is displacement, and it's also represented as an s. So v squared minus u squared equals 2ar, and now you move the 2ar on the left-hand side, so you've got displacement alone on the right-hand side, and you get 65 squared minus 0 squared, because the plane was stationary at the beginning, so its initial velocity was 0, divided by 2 times acceleration, which is 3 meters per second per second, given in the question. And that will give you R. Now, R is 704.16 meters. Now, if you're watching this playlist, this is my last video on chromatics, and I'll be doing a whole new set of videos on dynamics, which is module 2 in your new physics preliminary course.